Certainly worth the this year. But we'll see. Whiff available here for the Dire. Slow and steady. Resolution taking a fair bit of damage. Super pops the BKB and actually charges out of the base. That very is not aggressive happening. play. They need to be very careful. Hook falls short, right but now. yeah, if they just jump on this race, this could be bad. Hook on the now. Oh no. They catch the Sand King. Now stun the other way. Razor comes in, pops the refresher. He's gonna pop that second ult soon. I think BKB starting to stack up. Misery will get finished off, but now and pops the BKB. He's getting low at the center, bringing Wee ever so no low. They killed the Alchemist. They also killed the Sand King though, and now Super. He's getting pretty low. This uh, Pugna up on the high ground. He gets stunned. He can't keep life draining, but he does. He breaks down Sasta. Chow H is the king of the mountain right now. He does stay alive, but Super does finally fall. They knock down Jiao A. Resolution links forward. Buyback now from the Rubik. Oh, this life drain. It's really starting to hurt at this stage. He's up on the high ground again. DDC almost dies. Moonmander can't find him. He doesn't have the detention. They bring down the Pudge. The Juggernaut getting low, but Moonmander finds the kill on the Pugna. It is a bloodbath to the extreme. They're going to run back. They're scared of this Ursa being able to kill off Moonmander, and then he will be... Well, he actually does have the buyback. It's Resolution who doesn't have one. Oh, they're re-engaging. We'll go for the Rax. The question is if they can get the third lane. This is still really expensive for them, actually. They've committed a lot. It does look like they will be successful in getting Megas here. Doing more of this destroyed. Yeah, still 70 seconds before Razor 20 seconds or Sand King. He's up. the big one. And can actually win this fight if they have the Sand King stuns. We the end of trying to box them out. They get the barracks. Now in the front line, Misery gets jumped on by the Ursa. They'll find the kill there, but I think it's too little too late. The Megas do go down. Razor gets his buyback. This game is not it. over at all yet. They kill the Ursa, now he has to buy back. Moon Meander on his way out. Oh, uh, whoa, what happened? Oh, is that a glimpse? <laughs> I don't know, that was weird. He pops his BKB, goes for the oh, TP, it's gonna be close, but he gets back. And their own Sand King is 300 gold from buyback. If they get, like, a tier 4 and 1 kill or something like that, Yao can find himself a second life here. Here we go, we in the front lines, he needs to be careful, he does have the buyback, but you don't want to burn it straight away. He gets off the BKB, but he's just taking too much damage, he goes down. Resolution now pops his BKB, joins the fray as Moon Meander charges forward, BKB on as well. Buyback now from the Alchemist, they do lose the tier 4 tower. Moon Meander about to lose his BKB, but the double chakra is doing a fair bit of damage here as Weeha finds a stun on one, Static Storm Kinetic Shield, can they get in to close the gap? Yao pops the epicenter. Weeha could die back here. He's getting low, but he does get hooked. Maybe they just focus on the throne. Still a glyph. This is getting scary for LFY. BKB popped by Super. They're starting to focus the throne, but DC seem to have the reinforcements to handle this. They're trading kills now, but they lose Ursa. They lose Razor. Moon Meander just barely goes down. They kill the throne back at the Dire, and DC managed to do it. What a ridiculous finish 71 minutes in. Digital Chaos do find the win.